Here at James Blair, we have so many different types of teachers. We have brand new teachers that have never ever taught before. We have teachers that just came out of a program and then we have veteran teachers. Everybody needs something different. So it's very important and it was intentional for us to design a program that would offer something for everyone. We were able to select a series of PDs that fit us best. One of the ones that I selected was um, an activity on Nearpod because I wanted to use that more in the library. I, and I actually learned a lot about Nearpod that I was not aware of before. Our focus with professional development was to really target our teachers' needs in learning how to lesson plan, collaborate together. Uh, we've had an opportunity to get together with small groups and teaming up with um, teachers that aren't necessarily in our same field of study, which has been a good way to meet some faculty I haven't talked to before. But just sharing ideas ac across the classroom as far as uh, behavior management techniques, um, integration of technology, so I've enjoyed the experience this year. The teachers come in, there's always a warm-up, then there's always direct instruction, and then there's always something, a practical application that they do during that 10 minutes, and then there's an exit ticket. So we're modeling best practice for what they're supposed to do in the classroom. The maximum is 10 minutes. We are in a technology world right now, and these kids eat up anything that we can give them with technology. So automatically they're hooked just by the fact that you're teaching them something new that they have never used before and it gets them engaged into their learning so that they can hopefully remember the things that you're teaching through that tool and it, it makes a more lasting impression on their knowledge. Something that definitely stand out for me is the FLIP website. I was very unfamiliar with it and was introduced to it recently where a student that may not feel as comfortable getting up and speaking in front of a class um, in real time, might be able to record something on their own and present it that way. That would definitely help a student gain confidence in learning the subject matter and actually looking forward to an assignment. The biggest thing that I've seen this training throughout the year help our teachers is that they have developed a confidence in what they're doing. When something new is out there, hey, I'll try it and see how well it fits in the classroom. This is the best professional development I've had as long as I've been in WJCC. That's the highest compliment I can give.